As some states take tentative steps toward reopening their economy, researchers are still looking for a treatment for COVID-19, which first appeared four months ago and has now sickened roughly three million people worldwide. In an effort to find something, anything that might work against the symptoms of the virus, they're looking at a host of medical options. And it turns out one commonly used over-the-counter heartburn medication might be helpful. Stephen Fabian reports. A popular over-the-counter medicine may be an exciting new treatment for COVID-19. It's the heartburn medication, Pepsid. And now the active ingredient, famotidine, is being given to hundreds of seriously ill COVID-19 patients. The patients are receiving famotidine intravenously at nine times the heartburn dose. News of the clinical trial has triggered a run on Pepsid in pharmacies across America today. I managed to find just one box of the tablets and a few containers of the chewables here at this New York City pharmacy. I spoke with Dr. David Battinelli, chief medical officer for Northwell Health Hospitals in New York, which is conducting the trial. This would be a huge breakthrough. If I were to take a bunch of this Pepsid, would that help me fight coronavirus? Well, that's what the clinical trial is all about. Uh, we're not sure how much Pepsid uh, or the famotidine we should be taking, and uh, hopefully we'll get an answer to that within hopefully four weeks. But is it something where, like, I'm actually ingesting this Pepsid, I'm, I'm taking it orally? Taking it orally uh, should be effective, but we don't know what dose that should be. But there is some skepticism about using Pepsid, says Dr. Stuart Ray, an infectious diseases expert at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. If somebody who is developing breathing difficulties delayed their trip to get care, or delayed seeking care because they think this drug might be effective, that would be a mistake. We really don't have any evidence right now that this drug is effective because it's never been tested in a clinical trial.